And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. We have the Supreme Court making statements that if you aren't for this position, you are an enemy of humanity, is the way they phrase that. And that really does sound like you know, Christians that hold to biblical values are going to be, they are already being demonized. So, you know, I don't think it's much more of a step before they start taking action behind those thoughts. It's hard to imagine right now, in this day and age, in the society in which we live, an ordered, relatively ordered world, that anything could happen that would cause young and old, rich and poor to line up and take the mark of the beast. Something huge is gonna to have to happen. It's gonna to have to be a worldwide event. It's gonna to have to cut across every country and every economic uh, strata. People are going to have to be so desperate that they will do anything to stay alive. They'll do anything to eat. But as I mentioned earlier, it may not just be that terrible stick. I do believe a chaotic, precipitating event. It may be a world pandemic. It may be, uh, actually, it may be caused by the church going out of here, which could actually, because of the instantaneous transformation of our bodies, the DNA being upgraded instantly, that event may cause a worldwide EMP. We don't know, and nobody's getting food. Suddenly, a man steps to the forefront and says, you know what, I've been watching this world for a while, and I love you all. My name is Jesus Christ, and I'm here to help. All you have to do is follow me. He's not going to say he's the beast. He's not going to say he's the Antichrist. He's going to say he's Christ. He's going to say he's Christ. He's Maitreya. He's, he's the, the 12th Imam. He's all this and a, and a bag of chips. And if you'll just take the chips, then you'll have everything you ever dreamed of. It includes the flood. He's going to so hammer down on the people who have devised the, the rise of Antichrist, who have plotted and worshipped Lucifer all these years. He's going to hammer down on those who have uh, worshipped the, the religion of transhumanism, who have melded human with machine, who have changed our DNA, made us, tried to make us no longer human. The spiritual entities who have worked with these scientists, these philosophers, these world leaders in the background, he's going to judge all of them but miraculously at the same time, he's going to turn Israel back to loving him. He's going to turn those lucky people who turn to Christ rather than that chip. He's going to make all of them move into the real millennial kingdom with the real Jesus Christ. Who oh, no. knows? The more you know about the biblical scenario in the Bible, and the more you know about what's really going on in the world, the more you see the convergence. So no one's setting dates, don't misunderstand me. Um, but uh, clearly we're, we're, it's coming to an exciting climax. And that's why I'm excited about the transhumanists because they're all predicting, they're not predicting things 100 years from now. They're all predicting things within the next 5, 10, 20 years. And I think that's exciting because that means we really are getting to the end. Already we're editing the genome. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Daniel 12, verse 1.
I'm beginning to feel. We can make it till the end. I'm beginning to feel. The beast is alive again. A picture is worth a thousand words. A picture is worth a thousand words. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Chapter 2 Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. When the observance of Sunday be mandatory, each person must decide whether to accept the sign of authority of God or the authority of man. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Many times in my childhood we travel so far by nightfall how weary I grow Father's arms would slip around me And gently he'd say My child, we are going home Go To hold me I caught a glimpse Of that heavenly land Praise God I am going home Let us be glad and rejoice And give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. Oh.